Welcome to your week-by-week -week pregnancy video series, brought to you by Ultrasound Dimensions, Medical and Maternity Ultrasound Center. Hi, I'm Monica Healy. Welcome to Pregnancy Chat. This is week 22 and the fifth month of your pregnancy. As the weeks of your pregnancy go by, you, will, you might notice the numbers on the scale are adding up. There's no need to worry as this is healthy and normal. It's typical to gain about a half a pound a week or 0.2 kilos from here on out. The fundus or the top of the uterus is now about an inch above your navel, which places more pressure on the lungs. So along with this change and your added weight gain, you may be feeling some shortness of breath. Try sitting taller, standing straighter with your shoulders back and some deep breathing exercises or lying stretched out. And we suggest you lie on your left side because the blood that flows back to your heart flows through a large vein that lies a little bit to the right of your midline. So if you lie to the left, it takes a bit of pressure off that vein and you'll feel a lot better. As your uterus grows with your rounded belly, you're finely looking and certainly feeling pregnant. As you grow, your lower back may begin to ache. This is due to increased hormones in your body. And in addition to estrogen and progesterone, relaxin, a hormone that behaves just as it sounds, relaxes the muscles and ligaments throughout your body, preparing you for birth. Heartburn is also attributed to relaxin. And you thought it was simply because of your baby's um, thick head of hair. <laughs> no, that's an old wives' tale. Heartburn isn't related to the amount of hair that your baby's going to have. This, the sphincter muscle that is like a ring at the top of your stomach, it loosens and it allows some of the stomach acids to go back and forth into the esophagus. And that produces this burn after you eat. The myriad of hormones racing through your body are also responsible for sensitive and growing breasts, darker areolas or nipples, and fewer bowel movements, which inevitably causes constipation. You might have some leg cramping and gums that bleed when you're brushing your teeth. The list is long. Now, not only hormones, but are more prevalent, but your blood volume has increased as well. You might be experiencing thicker vaginal discharge due to increased blood flow to that area of the body. And to add insult to injury, nosebleeds can be common for some pregnant women as your veins swell with the extra blood. Varicose veins, hemorrhoids, swelling of the ankles, feet, and possibly the hands and face, stretch marks, hair growth in unusual places, a protruding belly button and pelvic cramping. Wow, what a long list, but don't panic. These are all common symptoms for this stage of pregnancy. Also, the uterine muscles are cramping due to the baby's growth and these false contractions are again among many symptoms that you may encounter and also are normal at this stage of the pregnancy. Aside from physical indicators of pregnancy, there are emotional side effects as well. Ab Absent-mindedness, mood swings, weepiness, irritability, and possible anxiety about pregnancy and birth. But there's also some good news. These emotions begin to mellow a little bit at this stage if they haven't already. You will most likely enjoy a spike in your energy levels. So the second trimester might be a good time to finish shopping for baby preparing the nursery and tie up loose ends at work. Enjoy this time with your little one, feeling him kick, punch, tumble, and twist in the safety of your womb. Not only is baby working on coordination and strength with constant movement, probably keeping you up at night now, <laughs> she's also now about one pound or about 0.5 kilos, eight to 10 inches, or 20 to 25 centimeters, a bundle of joy, and actually is about the size of half a melon. Baby's eyes are still fused shut, and but the eyebrows are there, the eyelashes, and the eyes continue to mature. Your baby may react to light um, that can pass through the uterine wall. We're not exactly certain of all this. 
your baby practices uh, flexing muscles, um, it grasps the um, umbilical cord. Baby's hearing is also improved and can hear all your bodily sounds such as your heartbeat, your digestion, blood flow, maybe the television, car horns and even music. So get baby hooked on your favorite tunes now. You can also expose your baby to your favorite foods. Believe it or not, food, uh, strong tasting foods turn up in the amniotic fluid and baby can taste this. Senses are not the only advancements being made. Baby's pancreas, which aids in the development of hormones, yes, the very things that are giving you so much trouble these days, is forming. Teeth are detectable below the gum line, and Lanugo, a fine, downy hair that covers your little bambino from head to toe, continues to grow also. She's practicing sucking and swallowing and has probably mastered yawning and hiccuping. So look out for that rhythmic pulsing or bumping in your belly to detect hiccups. Your baby is even settling into sleep cycles, sleeping a whopping total of at least 12 to 14 hours per day. Here are a few of my tips for this week. It would be good time to schedule a month checkup if you haven't already done so. The doctors like to continue to monitor urine, blood pressure, your weight. He'll also check the fetal heartbeat and the height of the fundus. And this is felt from the outside. And your doctor will like to feel the shape and the size of your bump. And will also address any questions that you have. So now is also a good time to schedule an ultrasound, usually between 18 and 22 weeks if you've not already had one. The medical staff will use this integrally view of the baby's anatomy and watch out for any abnormalities that may be present. You can see as well in this 4D image of a 22 week fetus how well developed he is. And yes, you can see that this baby is a boy as many parents want to learn the sex of their baby, but it can be kept hidden if it's a surprise that you want. Well, that's it for week 22. If you have any questions or comments, join us in the forum. Until next time, enjoy this pregnancy journey of yours. These are the precious moments our lives are made of. I'm Monica Healy and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you're looking for a medical or maternity ultrasound scan, we can help. Since 2007, Ultrasound Dimensions has been trusted by over 31,000 patients and doctors. Our Enterprise Ireland award-winning team offers you convenient appointments, immediate results, and always takes the time to give you peace of mind. To schedule your appointment, contact us today.